absinthe anyway. All right, guys, what is up? We are back. I went ahead and went to sleep. That way we wouldn't run into uh, truancy and all that bullshit. Not truancy, but uh, past curfew and all that crap. So um, we got that going for us. I'm not going to bother with a skateboard. I was really hoping there would probably just be a bike parked out here, but we'll just ride our skateboard. Matter of fact, actually, we'll just do this. <laughs> This works just as well. Yeah, we don't need I much past that anyways. Just going down here. New Coventry is actually, uh, not New Coventry, but it's like blue skies or some bullshit. You want a piece of this poor stuff? It's like on around. That's that faded out portion I was talking about earlier or a couple episodes back or something. It's not Finding Johnny Vincent. Well, where'd he go then, you tramp? Who you calling a tramp? I loved Johnny. Not exclusively, I'll grant you, but I loved him. Now he's gone. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Johnny's disappeared, gone crazy, abducted by aliens. I bet it was you, Hopkins. Yeah. Since you turned up, everything's gone really weird. King of the school. Who's the daddy-o now, huh? My love has gone. Find him, King. Quit poking me. You're both acting crazy. Cut it out. Now tell me, where's Johnny? <sighs> I don't know. Nobody's seen him. He got a little brokenhearted after we split up, but it's not my fault. Someone Sorry, said they saw a couple of night. asylum orderlies driving up to his house. But you know how people love to talk. Johnny wasn't crazy. Asylum orderlies? He was a real leader. Not like you, Jimmy. Look, I'll get your boy back, all right? See you later, freaks. Oh, my God. This may be the one I was talking about. Yeah, travel to the fucking asylum. This is the one that is a little bit harder. Chemistry 5. Oh, we don't even have to fucking do that. A couple episodes back, I alluded to... Uh, why did I do that? Where are we? Okay, we have got to go up there and down. Okay, so the asylum is way up there, which means I really hope this area is open now. It looks like it is. Which is gonna be really good, but I, I wish to, uh, I wish the hell we had a fucking bicycle. Is there like a bike shop or anything around here? Somebody fucking riding a bike? I guess I can look on the map. There's not a. Oh, yeah, there is a bike shop over there. I can't throw the old bitch off the bike or it'll fucking. Oh, wait, here's one. Oh, good, and it didn't charge us for theft. And a rubber band. I can use that. Ballin'. Anyways, um. Blue Skies Industrial Park! This is exactly what I was fucking talking about. It's like the new portion of the map or whatever that we haven't been to, but we have to go through here to get to um, the asylum, because when, you know, when we left the asylum, I was going to get to that bus stop, and it was closed off, and this is kind of the uh, rough part of town, per se, and um, yeah, the rough, uh, yeah, this is the rough part of town on here. And luckily, we're gonna come out. And this is where that guy that was set the school on fire. That's where he came. That's, that's, that's this is the part of town he's from. He's one of the townies. But anyways, this part, that where we just came in right there was blocked off. It had the cage in front of it. We couldn't do it. Uh, but we should get a townie challenge. Hopefully, pop up and we'll get to. Um, we will get to um, have a new save point. And I noticed a minute ago when I was on that screen looking through our stats, like it said we had four out of five save points. And I know there's one down there somewhere. So I, hell, it may pop up in this episode. We can do it or something. But anyways. Yeah, I'm, this is probably the one that's a little bit uh, harder, I guess. If I had to guess, this is this is probably it. But uh, 
hopefully uh, we can get in here without much uh, trouble. Whew. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Sneak past the oilies and find Johnny. Ben yeah, I. You know, it's funny. I didn't remember having to come in here twice. But yeah, we. Uh, this is the one that's going to probably give us just a little bit of trouble. I say that, and we may beat it first fucking try. Who knows? But I guess the reason I didn't remember it was because. I don't, know. don't care. But he sure does yell a lot, huh? I, I don't guess I. G oh no! I don't guess I got to it in the last playthrough. I don't guess I got to this episode. You do not have permission. God to damn be it! Here. Oh my god, that pisses me off. That's my fault. Totally. Just not paying attention. Man, that's a son of a bitch. Gotta have patience. Gotta have patience. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just get in here and get this over with. I like how the crazy bastard walked up to us last time. I was like, I'm going to follow you around. Like, oh, okay, well. Whatever, man. This reminds me of fucking uh, Good Burger. When they stick Keenan and Kel into a uh, into the fucking insane asylum, <laughs> fucking good burger. That's a great movie. It's funny as hell. I love it. What's their names in the fucking show? Ed and uh, Ed's Kel and uh, Keenan is. Man, that's so much as sleeping, thank God. Keenan is, uh. Fuck, I can't remember who Keenan is. Ain't nothing crazy about what I did, and you know it! You'd have done the same. Oh, Jimmy, thank God. You gotta get me out of here. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm you gotta get off. into the control room to open the door. Dexter, that's a name. Get an orderly uniform from the Jesus. laundry room. The dropout set me up. What are you waiting for? Ed and Dexter. The fucking laundry room. Is there a map? Fuck no, there's not a map. Here, fucking damn! <sighs> oh my god, this is pissing me off. Problem with this is I'm gonna start getting fucking sloppy because it's pit it's irritating me. may have been a blessing in disguise <laughs> because I'm not exactly sure I'm 
I'm not exactly sure where the fucking laundry room is, but it may have been best for us to have to go back like that and do it. And some bitch is fucking sleeping. Once again, I'm like terribly sorry this is happening this way. But I think we're gonna have to go this way anyways. Yeah, we are. Okay, so that actually may have been okay that it happened this way. But before I barrel through the door, I'm gonna let this dumbass go around. Oh my god! Damn, dude. Oh, cool. Man. I'm glad I didn't just bust in. Talk to the guard in the control room. Okay, well, we don't have to crouch anymore. Fucking hell, man. You want your break? Man, this is so boring. In the cell room doors. I'm free, you wankers! Thanks for getting me, kid. Hey, let's go out the back way. Follow me. All right, man. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> broke ass gate. Due to the unfortunate paper cut incident, all books are to be confiscated. I don't know if there's anything in here. We're not going to find out. Hopefully, there's not. I wouldn't think so, but Jesus Christ, what is this? This is a goddamn morgue. Holy shit. Thanks for getting up. me out, Jimmy. How'd you get in there to begin with? Some of the local kids said they'd gotten together with Lola. I went a little crazy. Jesus, man. I can believe that. Yeah, anyways, I gotta find Lola, see if it's true or not. See ya. All right, Johnny. Have fun. Degrees of respect went up. God damn, dude. I cannot believe that that fucking... Our tag says Jimmy. That I cannot believe it to Thank you. that Thank you. might be able to help me. I ought to go under and get that fucking rubber band. I'll pay you if you get the runaway crazies I'm back here. I'm not getting a fucking we'll soul back right now. Townies challenge and revenge on Mr. Burton. I'll tell you what. That's actually all down here. And I'm going to go do that townies challenge right now. It'll unlock a save point. Maybe we can save down here. And if we need to go back to school, we can just take the bus stop or something. Maybe I'm doing it. Townie challenge. Yeah, let's do this. It's a pretty cool game. It's all about killing things and taking their stuff. What was it called? Grottos and gremlins or something like that? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in here? I'm here to beat you up and evict you. Enough talking, let's fight! Let's. Stop uh, right now before I can barely you barely do You're a wall of dropouts. Holy shit, I don't know, but they're a lot harder. They call that a punch? You can't beat me! I'm a black ninja! Alright. Fight worse than a girl! Tell me when this is supposed to be hurt! I can hardly feel that last punch! You got nothing! Uh, Quit now, 
Come on. You can't beat me. <laughs> How did that happen? I was like, surely that wasn't it. Hey, Get I got enough life to do right now. That's not good. Your luck has run out. Alright, yeah, like, basically, I can just take them if I can get them on the fucking ground. Is that all you got, sweetheart? Which I just kept thinking about something. We have not found a radio transistor in a while. Damn. That was pretty easy. And done. Is there any way? I was gonna say, can we change our fucking clothes? <laughs> Was our custom outfit? All right. Uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and save real quick. And we will we'll continue on. Revenge on Mr. Burton, where is that at? It's like right up here somewhere, I don't know. This, as I said, this, this part of town's a little weird to get around, but not terrible, I, I wouldn't think. And there's a rubber band. Got it. Alright, yeah, it's just over here in this, uh, one of all these houses. Revenge on Mr. Burton. Let's do this. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on. Damn. I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know, he goes <coughs> jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah. So if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. All right. Travel to the hardware store in Bullworth Town. Thank God we still have our bike. Man, that was close. Hey, look, another rubber band. Give me that. That was oh not my a good God. idea. Son Let's of a don't bitch. worry. Right. I'm just gonna collect this. Oh, and it's raining. I have. This is the first time I've seen it rain on here. Minus that uh, one time I'm, I mentioned it. That was during the football game. I love weather in these games. Grand Theft Auto, Bully. I think we've only seen it snow on here, but I love the rain. That's fucking great. Rain makes me happy, if you couldn't tell. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm weird for that, but it's who I am. Class that English five. Where's that hardware store? You know, it amazes me actually that the map. What the fuck am I doing? Whoa! I did not mean to go up here. But it's probably a good thing, honestly, that I did. I kind of bypassed uh, some of the police. Plus, truancy's over, so. Now I'm last what the fuck, fired, man? first fired. Now I have to remember to call Justine. I need that mascara. Oh, get the bolt cutters. Okay, my bad. My bad. That's my bad. Mine. Meet Zoe at the park in Old Borworth Vale. Oh fuck! That was badass. 
Man, they're really making you travel on this one. I have to go across this? <laughs> Actually, I don't have to. I could just keep going up. Ah, fuck it. We're, we'll go this way because I, I really don't... I don't know about going all the other ways. Or I don't know about going all the way up through there and then... I don't know. We'll just go the way we know. And what I was going to say was it kind of blows my mind that they don't let you utilize this map more. Minus, you know, before Chapter 5. I mean, yeah, you can travel around and do errands and there's, you know, miscellaneous things you can do. But, I mean, as far as, like, the actual, you know, doing missions and stuff... Uh, it's pretty limited to just certain areas until, you know, <clears throat> do you unlock chapter five? Are you blind? <sighs> oh, well. Oh, come I on, fuckhead. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do it. Old Borth Vale. Okay, Zoe, where you at, girl? I'm screwing up bad over here right now. I guess down here. Fuck, man. I'm, 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 I'm really uh, doing a number on this shit. Is she over here? Yeah, there she is. Okay, jeez. No, don't talk to her yet. I want that rubber band. <laughs> I'll take that. Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. Now what? Burton always goes to the can when he goes running. We've got to make sure he uses this one and send him on a trip. Damn. I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. This sounds like it's gonna be good. Destroy the potties. Alright, whatever. You're getting awfully up here. Keep running, it won't help. No. Fuck you and your violence. This is bullshit. What is this? Oh, it's fucking sprinklers. Hey, man, what the hell is that? Sorry, dog. What are you doing? Well, all right. Well, we got a rubber band and fucking coat. What's Coach Burton doing now? Well, it's five o'clock. I guess he's out of school. I bet Hopkins is behind this somehow. You fuckhead. No, oh, Mr. Burton's who we're fucking after. Ah, Jesus Christ, what am I talking about? Better. Tractor. Jesus Christ. Oh my god! Corn! <coughs> I didn't have corn for dinner! Oh, this is off! You were trying to kill him? <laughs> Pushing him off a fucking mountain? Cars coming down, runs over him. Yuck! God damn, I stink! I'm gonna have to shower for days with bleach! Oh my god, he's covered in fucking than when shit. I got Damn, that is fucked up, man. Glad that's done. Preppy's vandalized. Think you can help me out? Um, yeah, well, actually, uh, I know it's a little bit longer right now, but hell, that's because I fucked up so bad on the on the on the first mission. That's all my that's my bad. But uh, where's Preppy's vandalized at? Hell, it's right over here. Shit, I was gonna take a bus back to school. We don't have to take a bus. We can just go right over here. Yeah! 
Yeehaw. We guess we do need to get our cowboy hat back out. This is the year I'm going to take the All right. Let's do this. This episode will be a little bit longer, but once again, that's all my fault for screwing so bad, screwing up so bad on that first mission. Oh, here he is, <coughs> Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't God, play innocent with snorting us. snorting again, sorry. I tried that when father caught me with Nanny. He gave yeah. me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it, they've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes, it's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us, apart from them. Oh yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la di da Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. <coughs> Wait Sorry. here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. Well, we did do the townie challenge, too. I forgot about that. Okay, so I don't feel too bad right now. Alright, what are we doing here? Go to the Greaser Hangout New Coventry. Yeah, it, the, what I was mentioning earlier, what I said earlier was, it, it seems like in the la these last few missions, it's made us go, you know, way across the map. You know, back and forth. Which is fine, but, um... I guess the reason it didn't do it before is because there's not really a decent way to get around other than your bicycle. And this map isn't very big. I mean, hell, it may be smaller than Grand Theft Auto 3, honestly. But it came out after, uh... This game came out after San Andreas. San Andreas was fucking huge. But you know, I think what doomed this game was that it came out literally one month before the PS3. Like, why? A Sony PS2 exclusive comes out one month. One month before the PS3. Man, it, it just seems to me like... And, and it didn't even get a scholarship edition. Which also blew my mind. And maybe it was because it was exclusive, but... You'd have thought the PS3 would have for sure got a scholarship edition. And enhanced, you know, because... I don't know. I was always... I was, always thought about that. Kind of blew my mind. Right, Vance. Did you guys steal the Preppy's trophies? No way, man. After the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy, we don't care about those stuck-up jerks. The townies? Really? Yeah, and Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. Go to the warehouse in Blue Skies Industrial Park. Okay. Well, that's over this way. <coughs> Man, I cannot shake this cough. I know if you you probably if you're watching any of our videos, you know, I say here lately, we record our videos, you know, fairly ahead of time, you know, a decent ways ahead of time anyways. And uh anyways it This might be Oh wow, I did not even see that rubber band. Um You'll notice it's probably a recurring theme in several of our Let's Plays that I'm, I'm like coughing really bad. I apologize profusely for it. I really do. But damn, I cannot shake this cough. I've had it for a month or better now. Alright, let's go in here. Find the townies putting rats in the crates and get a picture. Make you cry. Get in there, you, you little sucker. So Ow. Now I'm going to make you cry. Oh, man, I didn't know that. This is fun. You like 
Let's try that again. As a guy jumps up and about beats the flying fiddly fuck out of me. Now I'm gonna make you cry! They call that a punch? Well, I thought we'd fucked up, Get but I guess there, not. Get in there, you little sucker! Ow! It bit me! <laughs> oh my god, come on. I can just imagine the look on their face when they get another crate of rats. <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. <laughs> Hurry up! Jesus. Can't be late for the party at the docks. Travel to the docks. Okay, well this is going a little better. I don't guess we had to do that. What the fuck is even over here that matters? I don't know, but thank God for a ladder. Hey, look! <laughs> Hell yeah! Ew, an Edna mask. I want to check that out later. That's badass. I had no idea those were over there. I didn't. I mentioned earlier, you know, I knew the pumpkins were in the boiler room, but I had. I did not know that those were. Uh... I didn't know those were down there. Man, I'm like just running right by these motherfuckers. Just wondered if it didn't fail the mission on me. I really hope it wants me down here and not up top somewhere. The problem is that people don't listen to my photographs, tiny of the stolen trophies. Thank God, return to the boxing gym. Okay, let's do that. Let's go, but I'll tell you, we are going to um, be really great if we get a bicycle. Oh, look! I can use that. Really? Tell me when this is supposed to be hurt. Dude, I just want the fuck out of here. I do not want to get my ass whipped by these guys. And I have a bad feeling that if I stick around, that is what's going to happen. I would almost take the bus to fucking school. I'm going to. Also, earlier when I failed the mission, there was a rubber band on that front porch right across from us where that gun was blinking. Bus to school, and we will just, uh, yeah, we'll do it that way. <laughs> That's a lot easier than <coughs> trying to do it the way I was doing it. Getting chased by fucking townies and this and that. No thanks. No fucking thanks. Alright. Well, Pauper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. 
It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I really love Aquaberry. Maybe Daddy will buy me stock in the company. I'm really too cute for that man. That's that Amen. nonsense Let's dealt with. There's literally nothing for us to do. Which is unusual. Yeah, run home to mommy. Also means that something's probably coming up. I don't know why I'm going all the way over here to the bus stop when I could have probably just drove up there quicker myself, but whatever. Anyways. I'm actually gonna end the episode. save it and hopefully there's something to do here in a minute if not I'll just wait around on the rift thank you guys so much for watching